you open the Netflix and now you want to watch a movie. It takes you about 45 minutes to figure out what to watch. Have you ever been plagued by having so many choices? In this video, I'm gonna talk about wisdom from two different books which seem to contradict each other. The first book is The Paradox of Choice by Barry Swords and the other book is Antifragile by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. In the first book, Barry Swords tells us that having more choice is not really good for you. And in Antifragile, Nassim Nicholas Taleb tells that having many choices, many options makes you antifragile. It's good for you. So how do we reconcile these seemingly opposite wisdom? Dig in to find out more. Should I kill myself or drink a coffee? An existentialist philosopher Albert Camus asked this question. In life, we are presented with so many options every single time that every moment is a decision to make. In the first book, The Paradox of Choice by Barry Swords, I'm going to talk about two concepts. One is opportunity cost and the second one is decision paralysis. Say you have one month of time for vacation and you want to go somewhere else. Do you want to go to New Zealand, Switzerland, maybe Nepal, maybe India, maybe Japan? If you have a lot of choices and you eventually end up making one choice, you might get what we call the opportunity cost. That means if you choose one, that means you are not choosing over the others and you might miss out on what the other would have to offer. So whatever choice you end up making, because of having too many choices to begin with, you may not eventually be satisfied with your own choice. That is the opportunity cost. The second concept is decision paralysis. When you have too many options, it becomes hard to single out one option or it becomes hard to make a decision. There was an experiment where the researchers made a group of people choose a bottle of jam and they presented them with only six options in one side and in the other side they had another group of people trying to choose a jam in among like 24 options. So who do you think was able to eventually more likely buy that jam? The group who only had six options. The group that had 24 options was less likely to buy the jam than the group that only had six options. So when you have too many options, that is also an impediment to actually making decisions. So in this book, The Paradox of Choice, the author argues that having too many choices is not good for you. It is like an inverted U-shaped curve. So up to a certain point, more is better. And once you reach that threshold, more is actually bad. So having maybe two or three options or four options in certain situation is probably good. But once you start having more and more, then it is really not good. That is what the author says in in this book, The Paradox of Choice. Now, let's go to the next book, Antifragile by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Now, in this book, Nassim says that having more options actually will make you antifragile. If you don't know what antifragile is, let me give you an example. Say there is a candle flame and you take that candle flame and you go outside and the wind comes and it blows out that candle flame. That candle flame is fragile. Like a little bit of stress, a little bit of wind was able to blow it out completely. Now, put that candle flame in a glass jar and then you take it outside. Now a little bit of wind comes, the candle flame keeps burning. Nothing happens because it is inside that glass jar and it is protected from that stress. Now imagine the same flame in a forest, like a wildfire. What happens when a wind comes towards a wildfire? The wildfire actually becomes even larger. So the wildfire or the fire in the forest is antifragile. The more stress, the more obstruction it gets, it grows stronger, it becomes even larger. So that is antifragile. So Nassim Nicholas Taleb says that if you have more options, you become antifragile. Now, how do we reconcile, I mean, both of them seem to be pretty right, right? 
like too many options is really not good but then at the same time too many options makes you anti-fragile because when you have more things to choose from you are less likely to be affected by not having one option suddenly go away if you only have one option and if something happens to that option then you are left with nothing so the way we can reconcile this is in two ways author in the book paradox of choice explains he says that you should try to become a satisficer so what is a satisficer uh, it is someone who when presented with options what he does first is he first figures out what is his standard what is his baseline or what is his threshold like he has a certain criteria and once and then he starts looking for options and if he meets his criteria then he will just choose the first option so for example you want to buy a laptop and you want to buy a laptop that has 16 gigabytes of ram one terabyte of hard disk uh, 10 core in the cpu and that was released uh, in the last two years and that has a wi-fi 6 in it so once you have your specific criteria settled then you start searching for it and as soon as your first all of your criteria is met you just lock into that option and you are done you don't start scrolling and keep looking for other options so this way you save time and you do not have too many choices and it basically makes you happy but if you had to like choose between and compare between like 10 or 20 different options you'd spend like few days just looking at different laptops and it would, you'd just waste your time so he says the best thing is to do, become a satisficer the way i see the way i feel we can reconcile these two seemingly opposite messages is first looking at the context what context are we describing these options if we are describing these options in the context of low key settings like where the choosing of one option over the other does not really make a lot of difference like what do you want to wear when you go to work you want to wear a black shoe or you want to wear a brown shoe probably doesn't make much of a difference what do you want to eat in the evening whether you eat rice or whether you eat fruits it probably may not make a whole lot of difference uh, in the long term or things like what do you want to watch like you just want to relax so whether you watch a movie or a serial it probably may not make a huge difference in your life in the next five to ten years so if it is a low key area where the choosing of one over the other does not make much difference it is better to just have a certain criteria and once you meet that criteria you get the first option you just go into it you become a satisficer in low key settings like if you want to watch a movie what you basically do is you look for movies that have an imdb rating greater than 7.5 that have been released like greater than the year 1990 or 2000 and in the genre thriller so now you have a criteria and then you just look for those criteria and you once you find a movie which meets all this criteria you just jump into it so that way you don't waste time being a satisficer is the way in case of low key settings but if you have a high stake settings like where the decision you make really affects you uh, in the next five years ten years then it is better that you take these options a little more you analyze them even more carefully like maybe like say you want to decide whether you want to you have finished your high school and you want to decide if you want to go for medical school or law school or you want to be a creative artist or you want to go to filmmaking or dancing or you want to start a business so if you have to decide between this kind of options which affect you like for the next five or ten years or even a lifetime it is better in those cases to analyze all the options even better would be to talk to a professional or talk to somebody who has already been in your position and then you can make a better choice in those situations my main takeaway from this is that if you are presented in a low key setting where you have an infinite number of options or a lot of options and if that choosing that option is not going to affect your life in a big way have a standard set of criteria and once you meet those criteria the first one you get just jump into it lock into it you are done but if it is a high stake setting if it is a decision that is going to affect your life 
for the next five years, 10 years, or your whole lifetime, then analyze each option very well. Maybe take the help of a professional or ask somebody who has already been in your place. What did you guys think of this video? This was my first video and that I'm posting into YouTube and I hope you guys like it. Uh, please like, uh, maybe subscribe or definitely subscribe and comment and let me know what you guys think. Thank you.